How's it going? It's myself, Rough Fusion, and welcome back to another video. But I just have to say, uh, I did promise from the last video that I did when I unboxed the cheapest Nokia phone, but I've even literally come across with another, another one that's literally under 20 UK pounds. But as you all notice, that I'm the one for collecting retro or modern retro phones because I do like collecting these and just love having the fact is that I shouldn't have kept the phones that I had in the past and then I would have had a really ultimate collection of the phones what I used to own since I started to have um, my first mobile phone and I wish I still got that right now anyways I didn't get my first phone until I was about 16 I should say my first phone was a sage um, flip up phone and it had like a mirror front on it which was absolutely cool so anyways this is the retro nokia 6230i which i got from ebay for 20 uk pounds but yes it was an absolute bargain so i did a bit of browsing did a bit of research see what i could find on there so i'm always on the hunt for like vintage stuff just to like sharp my collection and one day I will do an entire collection of my phones later on in the channel, but I won't do it now anyways. So let's get to this thing, shall we? So nicely presented in this box here. But as you can see, it's actually got the genuine Nokia uh, logo on here. And what they have used, they've used like recycled uh, packaging. So I've got a feeling that this is a refurbished phone anyways. Yes, it's a phone that's um, been having problems in the past. So I've probably got it from someone who um, deals with refer with phones and trying to bring them back into use. So basically, it's just like recycling that way. So in here, we got the actual phone itself presented in this like wrapper bag, whatever you want to call it. And the cover just looks very, very firm. In fact, the phone is actually quite heavy. It's a bit heavier than my Motorola Edge 20 Pro because it is a solid phone. It's like once you drop this, that's not just, that's it. Drop it a few times, the thing still works fine. You know, that's how brilliant it is. I never had one of these before, but I had one similar to this, but uh, I'm, I was more of a Motorola person, so because the Motorola phone had a much bigger screen on it. And mine was a Motorola Silver L7 and I wish I still have that phone now. But anyways, I even forgot how this comes off. So the housing on here feels like, it, it's actually genuine. I was going to say it looks uh, like it's been 3D printed, but it's not. So it's the real thing. But for getting what I paid for, I thought this would have been a fake version of it. I was going to say it could have been a fake version of the Nokia phone. But my goodness. So I tried to peel this bit of the back here. There's a bit of yellow on here. So I'm going to say whoever's had this had looked after it really well. And I even forget how this comes. What the hell did I just do? Did I just turn it on? Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, so I'm going to set it as it is. And then that's okay. But I got a feeling this actually does work. We got the Bluetooth um, logo up on here. I'm telling you what, I'm not even used to small screens anymore now. I've gone used to like big screen phones. Yeah, so the screen size on my phone is almost seven inches on my Motorola Edge 20 Pro. So I literally remember this. My God, back in the days. Right, so we've got a camera media player. Oh, no, no music files found. And I just don't know how much um, internal memory it's got. Connects in enhancement. So my only problem with this, it only comes with the wall charger and that's it. Oh, it's even got a built-in equaliser. Wow. 
this is amazing. But yeah, it's a solid phone. Let's see what applications we've got in here. We've got collection, translator, converter, world clock. Oh my God. No way. <laughs> right, anyways, main menu view, list, or grid, okay. Well, I just have to say, this is just basically a basic phone. And it's very hard to text on this. But let's go and see what else we got on here. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Applications. Games. Right, backgammon, street, race, uh, golf tour. Let's see... It's not very loud. Okay. Well, my only problem with this, the speaker on this phone is not very loud. Okay. Seashore, downtown. Let's go. <laughs> All right. It's, I've got to say, it's got to be a bit hard to control on this. Play one, get ready. Okay, not very good. I've just got to say, it's running at like <laughs> 10 frames per second. What the hell? Okay, this is not very good. No, I just crashed into him. Oh, God. My only disappointment with this phone, there's no snake game on here. No traditional snake game on here. Oh, God, I'm just about to crash into the freaking um, back of the van. Oh, God. But just... Uh, Gotta say, this is just, uh, it's just a freaking bargain. To actually get the very, very original, genuine Nokia 6230i, you're talking about almost £200. Well, that's how much I've seen them for on eBay. Oh, crikey. I think I'm facing a lot of damage here. Are you just freaking joking me? My God. Right. I've just got to say enough of that. So anyways, what have we got in here? See what I mean? It's just the wall charger we got in this freaking thing. This looks absolutely, absolutely, a, well, it looks like a cloned version of the Nokia charger. And this is the, the actual, only things I'm missing is the software disk, the actual sync, the, the transfer cable and the CD software to this. But guys, I just have to say, that's me done. I'm literally out of here. You know, I just have to say, this is the, I'm not even going to use this. I'm going to take the battery out, put it in storage, you know, and just have it on display, you know. Add it to my collection because guess what that's how solid it is and i mean it's a solid phone my god but looking at this oh my days right that's the unboxing of what the nokia 6230i completely done and if you get one of these good for you guys i'm out of here peace out